Making your surround sound speakers wireless. I did a video on this quite a while ago, uh, but now it's uh, out with the old and in with the new. Tonight we're talking about the Dynasty Pro Audio Surround Sound Wireless Speaker Kit. Three years ago, I bought an Anthony surround sound wireless speaker kit because I wanted something that was going to allow me to use my current, what I think are lovely Fluence Bipolar surround sound speakers behind the couch without having to run wires all the way down my living room. And it was awesome. And I said that to you. Yeah, man, you said it was awesome, man. We should buy it, and we did, and then uh, now you're saying it sucks? I recommended it. It was a good piece of kit, and still is a good piece of kit, but it's getting a bit old. It's all 2.4 gigahertz for this one, and it's got some popping issues. So, out with the old, in with the new. Introducing, after extensive research, what I am now recommending as the best solution for wireless surround sound speakers in your house. And this unit also does wireless subwoofer if you want it. This is the WSA5RP from Dynasty Pro Audio. Now they do have other units out there, but if you're just looking at running two speakers behind you in stereo, 50 watts a channel, then this is a great solution and I'll tell you why. Just like all the other solutions that you're gonna see online, this comes in a transmitter and a receiver. And this, unlike what I had before, runs to five gigahertz frequencies, which is fantastic because most people's homes are filled with 2.4 gigahertz uh, frequencies and it can get a little bit crowded. And that's why some of the old units that are running 2.4 gigahertz can get a little bit, um, just don't run so well. These uh, have run flawlessly. Now they actually have two five gigahertz frequencies available to them, 5.2 and 5.8, and they are nicely displayed when you power them with these little LED indicators at the front here that are either uh, like a green or a blue, depending on which frequency you're on. At the front of both of these units, you've got a power switch, although we're not in use, they will go into auto mute. They won't go into auto standby, but if there's no signal, at least they auto mute. Some of the other units you can buy have a little bit of a hiss going in them, even when there's no signal going through them. These have been silent for me so far. Now there are some interesting things about it. Let's have a look at the transmitter to start with and have a look at the back. So again, it's a very simple unit. You've got, if you want, you can run the subwoofer. And this is where you'll run the uh, speaker cable out the back of your amp and into here as if you were running it into the back of a set of speakers. Now, interestingly, the, these uh, use a spring-loaded uh, system for the transmitter, which I thought was um, slightly odd because when you look at the receiver, it has uh, screw poles and the opportunity for uh, banana plugs. Now, this is the receiver unit, which you would put behind your couch or wherever you're gonna hide it at the back of the room. And you can run multiple units of these. So if you don't just wanna do surround and you wanna do side as well, you can run multiple units of these to run those two and those two and those two. So if you're running a subwoofer out, this is obviously where you would take that. And this is where you would either uh, do your um, screw poles with just the wire or you can put your banana plugs uh, in the end. And then there's obviously the uh, volume control or signal control of how much output you wanna push to the speakers. Um, I run mine at about uh, two o'clock uh, and that seems to be fine. And then there's a single power, um, obviously an adapter that comes with it. Now, I like this more than what I had with the Anthony because with the Anthony, I had to have two power plugs at the back with two units with the wires running to both speaker. I don't need that, this is just behind my couch so I can hide it. So having one unit where I just run speaker cables out and only one power unit to run this is très bon. How does it sound? 24-bit 48K uh, audio quality, which is CD quality. And I have to say, the step up from what I had with the Anthony to this was quite surprising. The clarity of the audio, the range, the full range of the audio that came through just felt much cleaner and much stronger than what I had before. 
And of course, mostly with surround sound, you're just gonna be doing ambient sounds and things. But um, yeah, I was, I was smiling from the moment I plugged them in. Partly because when you plug them in, they're very easy, they just connect beautifully. And then you're done, you know, it just, it's just fabulous. So in terms of the 50 watts per channel, uh, running the two Fluence Bipolars that I've got, depending on what you've got, and you could probably run up to 80 watts, I'm sure, depending on, the, on, on what ohms, if you're running eight ohms, no problem. Um, I think, you know, anybody's gonna be happy with the, the signal power audio quality uh, that comes out of these puppies. So what comes in the box, obviously, there's a box and in the box you get they actually send you a uh, a couple of um speaker cables i'm actually uh running um some 12 gauge that i have to mine these are um you know i'm sure they're fine but if you need them they're there they're a little bit skinny um which is fine and probably suit the uh, amount of power that you're sending through them because they don't have to anyway we could get into that but uh, actually, I'll put a link below that talks about um, cable thickness and how to choose the right cable, etc. Those would be fine, short distance. They also come with blah, blah, blah. They also come with a stand uh, for each, which is just a nice little touch. It's kind of like that Xbox experience where you can have it, uh, you know, on the table. Let's just say that this is, you know, the transmitter. And uh, if you need to, depending on how your high fire rack works, then you can obviously run them like that. And if you need to, you can do that at the back of the room as well. I'm not sure which way's up. Price-wise, they're not the cheapest on the lot, but I do believe you're gonna get what you pay for with this. And I think, you know, you'll be finding it hard to find too many negative reviews about it uh, compared to, again, some of the um, competitors. If I was just running a sub, ooh, I don't know, I might look at the SVS unit for that. Uh, it's probably a similar outcome at the end of the day. Um, and I guess if you go with this one, then you've got the option that you can either run a sub or the speakers out of it. Uh, only one uh, caution to the experimental of you, and that is that even though this can run a sub and surround sound speakers, my understanding is obviously the transmitter is only going to send one signal to this so all of your audio is going to be blurred into the one signal so when it comes out the other end and you plug in your sub and your speakers my understanding is that the same audio frequency goes into all of them so if you're going to run sub run sub if you're going to run speakers run speakers uh perhaps get a second set if you're going to run a sub or as i say there are other units out there that you could investigate i'll put links below if you're interested in those so color me happy uh, i've been running these for about uh, three or four months now and just love them. Just quiet to operate, no popping, no hiss, no fuzz, no dropouts, no nothing. Just solid as a rock, strong signal, good sound quality. Yes, they're expensive, as I say, but definitely worth checking out. If you've got any questions, comments below. If you wanna subscribe, yeah, do it. And uh, I will see you in the next video. We've got lots of IM stuff coming up, lots of headphones. Uh, man, it's all going on. Talk to you soon. Bye for now.